Hello, and welcome to Somerville Media Center's file management tutorial. In this video, we'll cover how to efficiently name files and organize your hard drive space for quick understanding and readability. Now, these ideas seem simple enough, and they are, but it's keeping in the habit and maintaining a steady pace with your ever-growing pile of files that is key. You'll find that even small projects go much quicker when you have a streamlined and comprehensive file management system. You should start organizing your files the moment you have your card plugged into your computer and have started transferring files. The first step can end up being tedious, but it will make your process more streamlined, and that step is going through every clip and labeling them. For example, if you're working on an interview, you'll want to sit down and offload the footage from your SD card onto your hard drive. Then, you'll want to go over in your head what you want the finished folders to look like. Usually my folders are organized like this. Name of project, camera, file.mp4. After I have set up how I want the file flow to be, I would open each file one at a time, figure out which take each clip is, and rename the file to fit. For example, a video file of interview 2 I would name title of project, underscore, interview, underscore, take number, underscore, name. And that would be placed in the video folder. I would continue in this way for each piece of raw, unedited footage I have. If this were a two-camera setup and I had a piece of footage from camera B, it would be titled title of project underscore cam b underscore interview underscore take number and place in the correct folder, making sure to specify which camera was used in the file and folder name. This is so when you're editing, you know exactly where to find that file and that take. No more hoping that file aa000801.mfx is the shot you need. Now, when you look into your folders, you'll easily be able to navigate to the correct one. For other folders, I will name them according to what content is in them. For example, if I have any music that I'll be using, I'll create a folder called Music and place it in the project folder. It would look like this. Name, Music, and then whatever file I placed in that folder. I would do the same for any pictures or anything else I need for the episode. Remember that once you start editing, do not move any files to other locations. And there you have it. Your files are all managed, and your editing process just became so much easier. Thanks for joining me. I'm Jack Tarbox with Somerville Media Center, and this has been our file management tutorial video.